Okay, seventh grade, lesson 38. This one is on interpreting graphs. Now, this is not really something that can be taught. There's a few things that can be taught on it, so I'm going to pretty much show you the book the whole time, okay? When we're working with graphs, okay, what I want you to see is, um, what is this graph about? Hopefully you see that it's donut sales, or, okay? How much you have so sold of donuts, okay? So, what I want you to do is look at the very bottom. This full circle donut represents 10,000 donuts. That's very important to know when you're looking at this graph because otherwise I would have said, oh, we sold four donuts. We sold one, two, three, four, five, six donuts in February, four donuts in January, and five and a half donuts in March. But because we know that this donut actually represents 10,000 donuts, that helps us to know what to do, okay? So if I were to ask you about how many donuts were sold in March? That'd be 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, 50,000, 55,000. He did it exactly right. So he just went 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, 40,000, 50,000, 55,000, okay? About how many donuts were sold in the first three months of the year? So we would do all of these. 10,000, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 20, 30, 40, 50, 150,000, but then I've also got this, 155,000. So that's how you would do that, okay? So you would just count. And if it makes it easier for you to actually line up and say 10,000 plus 10,000 plus 10,000 plus 10,000 and do that all on your paper. That's what helps you then do it. It's no big deal. All right. Let's look at a different graph, okay? This one is considered a bar graph, okay? So a bar graph, um, let's look at this together, okay? Um, first thing you need to recognize is to look at all the information that's given on the bar graph, okay? So what is this one about? Um, Anne, Brad, Carol, Dominique. Okay, but look at the title of the thing at the very top. Oh, number of aluminum cans collected by each child. There you go. That's exactly what this is about. The number of aluminum cans collected by each child. Okay, and then how many children are there? Anne, Brad, Carol, and Dominique. Four. Okay, now over here on the left side it says the number of aluminum cans. And each tick or each line represented goes up 200 every time. So 200, 400, 600, 800, 1,000. So they've given us all the information we need, and now we just answer the questions. About how many cans did Brad collect? Um, 800. 200, 400, 600, 800. Very good. All right, next one. Carol collected about as many cans as what other two children combined? Well, um, Carol Anne made 900. So Anne and Dominique, right? Anne made 500. Dominique made 400, which equals 900. Very good. Okay, see how we did that? All right, now, it's fine. Now, let's look at this next chart. All right, this one is called a line graph. See that? Mm -hmm. Now, what is this line graph about? Paul's test score. Okay, Paul's test scores. Now, what does this represent down at the bottom? Numbers. Test 1, test 2, test 3, test 4, test 5, test 6. And then what does this represent? Uh, the score. Yeah. 60, 70, 80, 90, and 100. So he apparently got 60 or higher. Okay? And now he just draws. So, what was Paul's score on test 3? Test 3. 80. Oh. No, Almost 75. 75, very good. Okay, it's in between 70 and 80, very good. In general, were Paul's scores improving or getting worse? Improving. Improving, okay? So he went from here, and it's kind of going a diagonal up, so you know that he's improving. All right, now this next one is a pie graph. All right, see this? This one is how Aisha spends her day. See that? Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you can see this, um, she sleeps eight hours. She does chores for four hours. She studies for five hours. She plays for four hours. She eats for two hours. And then there's just one more hour in the day that she just kind of spends doing different things, okay? So the question asked is, 
How many hours are included in this graph? So how would you answer that? How would you answer that? How many hours? Or are you just add them all together? You would add up 8 hours, 5 hours, 4 hours, 2 hours, 1 hour and 4 hours is going to equal 24 hours. Okay, so this is her whole day that she's got set up here. All right, and then what fraction of Aisha's day is spent sleeping? So, how much is spent sleeping? Uh, Eight hours, can you see that? Okay, you can't see it from where you are. Eight hours out of how many hours? Uh, out of 24. 20. So, we would write eight out of 24 is the fraction, but you reduce that, okay? Eight will go into eight one time, eight will go into 24 three times. So, one third of her day is spent sleeping. See how we wrote that up? All right. And that is lesson 38.